The oceans are uh, magnificent and huge, but certainly not forever, um, especially the way we are fishing. We are running out of fish, and the reason is simple. We've been taking them out of the water faster than nature can put them back. At the pace we're going, the oceans could be out of fish by 2050. In recent decades, we've stopped getting many of the fish we eat from the ocean and started raising them in fish farms. But there's a problem. To feed our farmed fish, we've been going back to the oceans to pull out huge quantities of smaller species called forage fish. Sardines, anchovies, they go out with big nets, bring them in, grind them up, take the oil out, and it becomes an animal feed. But there's a limited supply of forage fish in the world. Many forage fish populations are already at dangerously low levels. Without their food source, most fish farms will cease to function, and fish could be off the menu permanently. This is an issue of common sense. There's a problem, and there's an obvious solution. We're at the forefront of finding a different way to raise fish in the world of aquaculture. Bill and his colleagues at 2 by C are working on an idea they hope will help out the planet and ensure that fish farming has a future. So this is where you store the food? This is, this is the palace, yes. What is it made out of? That is made out of algae. Pistachio, pistachio meal. Pistachio oil, pistachio meal. Corn? Flax. Flax oil. Flax meal. They've developed the first completely vegetarian fish feed to be used commercially in the U.S. We're specifically trying to keep away from using the ocean as an a unlimited resource for free fish. The cheapest possible way to put a pellet together has been to use the ocean, what was considered an unlimited amount of free fish. But it's not unlimited. It's extremely limited, and we're finding out just how limited now. So the goal we had set was to get rid of fish meal and fish oil completely from the diet of our farm fish. How you do that was a little more difficult. A quick search on the internet kind of came up with a few papers. One was by Dr. Rick Barrows at USDA. I've always liked fish. I've got a trout pond at home, a trout stream, a 300-gallon marine aquarium. I'm kind of a fish freak, but... I call it passionate, some people call it obsessive. Bill Foss called me and asked about fish meal free diets, plant based diets, and I said, yeah, I have one. Fish nutritionists for the last 30 years have been looking for replacements for fish meal. We do know that we can totally eliminate fish meal from fish diets and still have a healthy, fast growing fish. Here's some of the containers that hold the ingredients we use in some of the diets. One of the first things Rick Barrows ever told me was that fish don't need ingredients. Fish need nutrition. They don't need fish meal. What they need is an intelligent, balanced set of ingredients that formulate a perfect protein. The right amount of carbohydrates, the right kind of fats. We've evaluated fish meal free feeds with eight species. Most are considered carnivorous, but I don't really think we're turning a carnivorous fish into a herbivore. What I think we're doing is taking soybeans and corn and algae and turning that into meat. We're really not changing the animal, we're just changing what they consume. Oh, wow. You can see they hate it. Yeah, no, they're obviously not interested in it at all. You realize what a technique it is to make a pellet float instead of sink. Uh-huh. And it is truly a fine art. The 2 by C guys, they're very happy uh, with the way the fish have been performing on the feed. The product they're producing, I, I understand, is well accepted by the chefs in San Francisco. The color is right, the texture is right. From a health standpoint, it's really enriched um, omega-3s. It tastes like what it should be, like a, a, like a wild fish. I'm just a, a big fan, and I, I think, I foresee this as the future in sustainable fishery. There is a downside to all of this. The plant-based feed costs about twice as much as conventional feed. That's a barrier to wider adoption of the 2 by c diet, at least for now. But 
If wild fish populations continue to decline, it won't be long before going vegetarian is the only option. We have been treating the ocean and the seemingly limitless supply of free fish as a given. If we don't have a backup solution, there's going to be a whole lot of hungry people.